A few weeks ago, I made a video about Runway ML's new Gen 1 AI video generation software. This is some never before seen AI tech. So much more has come out about Gen 1 and early access has begun. I know some of you guys want me to make videos on every little piece of AI news. However, I really only make videos about stuff that I am personally interested in at the moment. If you want to get up to date on the latest and greatest in AI news, I suggest checking out my Discord server where we have a whole section on the latest AI news. All right, let's take a look at Gen 1's early access promo video. As you can see, beta access begun about five days ago. So as you can see, this is converting a 3D model, a very crude 3D model in animation, by the way, into a full-fledged clip of a horse that looks honestly pretty realistic, to say the least. Complete style transfer of any video pretty much is possible. That completely transforms the environment around him and where the sun is, too. So the lighting is also entirely different. Here's another example of a model that was sculpted in computer in about five minutes transformed into a real video of a city with Gen 1's tech. So you can see, sculpted in five minutes in the computer, and there you go, full actual realistic city scenes. It's really incredible stuff to say the least. It doesn't have to just look like a normal city. It can also be like this colorful, weird, sparkly city too. A wide variety of possibilities. Here's another clip. This is all made using Gen 1 just with a laptop's camera. So I don't even know how they did this, but you can tell Gen 1 can really transform whatever technology you're, you're using. It doesn't have to be particularly nice camera quality or particularly good video. The AI is really going to be able to transform everything. That is creepy, to be honest. But it actually looks kind of like weird jungle video. Like, it almost looks real in some cases, especially that uh, lion one. Wow. It's a little creepy. It's a little weird. Hard to believe it was all done with a webcam, though, on a laptop. So this one was super cool, all completely done at home, just using some simple cardboard prompts, and you can see what she made with this. It's really exciting. You see, that's supposed to be the sky and the moving of the background. Completely looks like a plain window. That was cool as well, this car one. Completely makes a little village in a home using Gen 1. The snow stuff too, you can almost see the snow particles in the final render. I think my favorite has got to be this car one, and the way Gen 1 was able to make it look like the car is traveling at high speeds with the motion blur, and it's crazy how much it tried to make this original mouse image look like a car. It is just so, so cool to see. I love this one as well. Completely transforms it into a village and keeps the same uh, movement of the camera you'll notice as well. And this one came out really cool. I actually really like the design of the little mountain snow village, but it's sad to see the particles of snow didn't really make it through in the final edit and they kind of just glitch around. But again, how hard would it be to actually add some little snow particles in post if you're already a video editor, for example. So you can really see this technology is going to enable the average everyday person to reorient the way that they create. They'll really be able to express their creative side even without knowledge of special tools. House in the local park or something like that. This is a really cool one. Keep in mind this tech is still very early, so it's kind of primitive now. And I actually ran hundreds of tests just to get these results. But this tech will get better, and soon there's going to be a whole new generation of filmmakers who will be able to make whatever they can imagine and will no longer be limited by their budget.
And you can see these fight scenes are actually pretty reminiscent of what Corridor Digital just did. Again, Corridor Digital, I don't know if you guys have seen this, they did this entire anime scene uh, using AI generation to help them create it. And it came out really, really fantastic. But obviously, Corridor Digital also did some background work here to create this. This isn't all the AI. There's a lot of heavy lifting on their side. This wasn't Gen 1's technology specifically. This was a combination of multiple technologies. However, Gen 1 could create stuff like this in the future. So it's really exciting what our creative possibilities are going to look like in the future. Again, just another clip of someone at their house with their webcam. That's the clip I'm gonna use. Completely transforms the original clip, even transforms the person entirely. This person created a burger ad in 12 minutes with Gen 1. So they sculpted the whole burger in a 3D creator here and then created this little animation as you can see, and then rendered it with Gen 1, and it looks almost like a real image. Super crazy to see. And then it looks a little burnt, that's definitely true. Oh, with the fire here, we can see they do it with the fire, and the fire's in the background. That's actually pretty cool, I do like that as well. This is some incredibly creepy food moshing going on. I'm not exactly sure what they were going for with this one, but another very, very cool one transforming his world into a 3D animation style. Super cool. Again, I just love to see these home video style clips. People are going to make really, really cool home movie videos with AI. It might actually turn into a pretty integral part of the filmmaking process in the future. Really cool stuff. That was super cool. I love all the different clips and the experimentation with the lighting that he did with this. You can really see the way it's actually able to either add lights or utilize lighting that is already in the clip, like in this example here with the hand and everything. You can see the way it reflects the light. It looks like a Marvel movie almost with uh, the spacey atmosphere. I mean, definitely still looks AI generated. There's no way around it. It kind of has a cool artistic touch to it, but as this stuff improves, you know, you're going to be able to make some really, really awesome stuff. Runway also created this thing that they call Runway Studios, and essentially they're trying to empower filmmakers with the creative vision of AI. So they're gonna offer films, documentaries, music videos, and different programs. They actually just did their own film festival. And on this website, they actually do have their own films that you can watch, and there's some really, really cool stuff. So like I said earlier, Runway's Discord also has early access right now. People can actually go into these Discord servers just like the early mid-journey days where people upload a video or an MP4 and an image, and it does style transfer. And people are definitely already creating some really, really cool stuff like this is comic book style for example you can actually see over on the side here there's a ton of different settings for this model there's cfg scale temporal scale blur level upscaling there's a lot of stuff that's baked into this current beta or alpha test so a lot of people are obviously trying it with ai generated imagery but people are also just trying it with images from like google images which is pretty cool so i believe this guy was trying to turn himself into a stormtrooper we'll see how that worked out again this is a very short clip but he pokes his head out there he looks kind of like a stormtrooper in this video clearly the guy was trying to take this clip of a stork and convert it into a dragon we'll see how this turned out and the stork is doing its best to look like a dragon but it's not exactly working yet still some cool imagery i would say this guy obviously was trying to turn himself into this cute little paper doll guy and i don't think this one worked out because yeah this is uh this is pretty terrifying stuff i won't deny <laughs> but i think the paper style is transferring pretty well over to his face uh he just would not look good if he was made of paper <laughs> You can see the tune aspect definitely is there. I think at some point in a few years, you're going to be able to make animations that look like they were rendered in a actual program and not just an AI generated blobby thing. But I mean, this is, a, this is already getting kind of close in some ways. It looks pretty cool. 
Again, the 3D render stuff always comes out really, really awesome. Take a look at the way it's able to capture the lighting in this one with all the different blocks moving around. It definitely was able to capture the vibe of this original image that it was given. This guy tried to make himself made of wool, and yeah, this is pretty terrifying. He looks like he's under the water and made of coral or something like that. This one is... This one's horrific, I'm not gonna lie. This guy tried to turn his city into this more dystopian one. This is a screenshot, I think, from Cyberpunk. And was Gen 1 able to do it? Um, almost. There's a little bit too much resolution and stuff going on. I think with some settings tweaks, you could definitely get this one a lot closer. But so far, this is, I guess, kind of trippy and cool looking, but not all the way there. Again, people trying to convert different objects to like to make this Rubik's Cube but look like this cube. I actually really like this. It works pretty well and got the basic vibe and colors off of it. And a lot of the square glowiness is definitely in the video. And again, they are prompting some of these. Like this one is watching a bear through a zoom glass. And is the bear there? I guess that's kind of a bear in a zoom glass. Although the hands that are reaching out to look through that are definitely like furry bear hands or something like that. So you can tell they're definitely in a forest at least, which is good. I really like these creative clips that they're submitting for upload here, like this one, for example. And then they use this image of an earth. So I'd love to see what this came out to be. Okay, now this came out really cool. You can see the earth sort of slowly forming from all those water droplets. Really, really cool animation and clip. People really just pushing that visual cinematic style with this model. It's kind of working out like this is a really cool visual here. I actually really do like this clip as well. I love the rendering of these little 3D animation clips. Probably some of my favorite stuff that people have made so far using Gen 1. Here's another animation clip that came out really, really well. There's hundreds and hundreds of clips that we could go look at on the Runway Discord itself. I suggest you guys go take a look there because there's cool stuff being generated all the time. There's so much stuff you couldn't even look at at all. And it's the future of video generation. And I think it's also the future of movie technology technology as a whole. This is the beginning of it. We're at the beginning point of the rest of our AI generated future, truthfully. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Are you excited for this technology? I think this is one of the coolest things going on with AI right now. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with the chat GPT API and all that. That's more on the business side of things, but this I just thought was so creative and cool. I had to talk about it further since more clips of Gen 1 actually were produced. Thanks for watching, viewers. I'm Matt VidPro, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.